Well, hey, here I am again. So, um, I'm having two cups of coffee this morning, kind of back to doing that. Not every day, but I'm gonna do it today. So back in the middle of February, I had gotten some sort of sinusy, cold virus sort of thing, which ended up leaving me with a cough that lasted about seven weeks. It's called a post-viral cough. It's where you end up being irritated. You're not still sick, but you have irritation that makes you keep coughing. Finally, it's almost entirely gone. And interestingly, while I was having the coughing, you know, the post-nasal drip, all that stuff, I was having so much trouble with reflux, which of course aggravated the coughing even more. <clears throat> the more I coughed, the more I had reflux. Anyway, it was rather difficult. And I had to cut back on the caffeine because, you know, then that aggravated the reflux as well. But now I haven't been having any trouble with reflux. So every once in a while, I'm going back to two cups of coffee. So earlier I did a little video about making an iced coffee that was so ref refreshing. And I've got some Jordan's Skinny Syrup here. It's peach flavor. I really like to have that in things like smoothies. And I thought, ooh, what if I uh, go on the Nespresso app, or you can go on the website, Nespresso.com, and they have a filter to choose different kinds of coffees, depending on what, what size you want, what type of flavors, aromas, stuff like that. So I thought, I'm going to pick something that's fruity, and I'm going to use, I'm going to do some kind of coffee with the peach syrup and the fruity coffee. And then I was looking at the list it gave me. And one of the ones it gave me was Fredo Delicato, which is a Kenyan Arabica. And it's been uh, formulated to make it good for iced coffee. And I thought, well, you know, I already had some iced coffee. Maybe I'll try some more and I'll kind of make my own recipe. And I already had milk in my frother ready to go. And I thought, well, I can't make a hot froth because it's going to be iced coffee. So I got out my little handy dandy manual here and it says, okay, um, so press, press the button once and you get dense foam. Press it twice, you get airy foam. Press it three times, it just warms the milk. Press it four times, um, you will get cold and soft milk frothing. Okay, so that would be perfect, right? All right, so the first thing I've got to do, okay, first thing, okay, the milk is here. I need some ice, right? Okay, let me get some ice. Hang well here. So... Um, I was reading, take a handful of ice. That's what it says to do for the Fredo Delicato. Okay. I'm going to use four, about four ice cubes. Okay. Now, all right, the next thing. Okay, I should put a little peach syrup in there, right? Because I'm going to make this a fruity coffee. How much? Kind of just a little bit. You can always add more, right? And good morning to those of you who are watching. Hey, Kevin. Okay, now, <clears throat> just to make this pretty. All right, let me see if I can do this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, good. It says the blue light will be lit up in the manual here. Let's see. Blue light keeps bright. Blue light will flash when it is finished. Well, it says warming, but this is cold froth. So I guess what it, they mean when it's done frothing. Where is this thing made? Undoubtedly in China, right? Where is anything made these days? Well, no, actually the English in here is not bad at all. Um, okay, this is my 
Chef's Magic MF2 frother that I got uh, a couple years ago on Amazon for $20 now. They're selling something with a different name, but it looks exactly the same for maybe $40 or $50. But prices on everything have gone up, right? So, okay. All right, there it goes. So I'm going to, what am I going, should I brew the coffee first? I'll, I'll pour it in. Okay, so this is a cold, oh yeah, it's cold milk. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. It's still cold. All righty, and now I'm going to brew the hot coffee into the cold milk with ice. So this gets brewed as an espresso. So this hot espresso is going into cold milk, room temperature syrup, and icy ice. Okay, that was quick. We'll let it kind of drip here. Now, I don't know how this is gonna be. <coughs> I wanted to try this with you. That's why I came back on this morning. So we could do it together. Okay, so there we go. I guess I could have I could have done this without the milk first and tasted it. Oh well, it is what it is. That is that's a nice froth and it's a cold froth. Isn't that interesting? I've never done that before. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste the cool peachiness. my now this is very interesting let me try this again this tastes like it almost doesn't taste like coffee but it does oh my goodness all right Back when I tried that Nordic Cloudberry, which was supposed to have a jammy kind of taste, if I remember correctly, it ugh, did not taste like coffee. This has a fruity taste, but it also tastes like coffee. You know, I had read some recipes for, mm, what was it? Was it the Miami or, oh golly, I can't remember, for some kind of coffee where you use apricot jam, and I don't have any apricot jam, but I think I'm going to buy some, so, oh, am I getting into a fruity phase? Let me taste this again. Mmm. Oh, I need to close my eyes. Mmm. It's very good, very refreshing. Why do I close my eyes when I taste coffee? So I will not get distracted by other things. Have you ever had an experience where maybe you're thinking about something, maybe you're reading and you happen to glance around and oh, you see dust balls under the furniture or you notice, oh, I didn't put that away the last time I used it. Oh golly, there's the laundry basket I need to fold. You can get distracted. And you can get distracted from tasting something too by seeing something. You know, like I'm looking over here on top of my microwave and I'm seeing, oh, I need to dust up there. <laughs> anyway, so I need to close my eyes when I first taste coffee so I can just put all my attention into tasting it. This is very unusual, but I tell you, I love peach. And maybe you like raspberry, or maybe you like cherry, or, you know, some other sort of fruity flavor. 
give it a try. And um, I have found that fruity flavors do tend to come through better with something cold. Nutty flavors, I think, tend to come through better with something warm or hot. Not pretty much. That's how I kind of remember tasting various things. What do you think? Well, anyway, so, hey, give this a try in some way, shape, or form. Let me know what you think. And most coffee frothers do what this one does. It'll give you a choice of a hot froth or a cold froth or, well, you know, like this one. What did it say? A hot dense froth, a hot airy froth, just hot milk, not froth, or cold froth. So, okay, something new, and golly, you could serve something like this to guests, especially in the hot weather. Hey, would you like a cup of coffee? How about an iced coffee? This would be a nice breakfast or dessert drink. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy my nice icy cup of fruity coffee. Have a great day.